Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It is Cam Cowboy here with another video. And give you a little sneak peek, it is Iron Throne that we're gonna be playing. So oh. <laughs> Psych. Um yeah, so today we're gonna be talking about the different events for today. And well, this is the beginner's guide to Iron Throne. Everything that you need to know about this game here coming at you tonight. So we want to talk about events. Now, if you're watching the stream, you're already here. Swag and I are just discussing everything that we want to talk about before we actually talk about it in an actual video that we can post and make a little mini-series. But we want to talk about events. And the biggest event that you'll see on a recurring basis is the Inferno event. There is a schedule of the Inferno event. And most of the time, you'll see this very similar structure. where you'll have kill monsters, construct buildings, complete research train troops, Elimin eliminate chaotic strongholds you know and it just goes back and forth and you'll notice that the construct buildings complete research and train troops is a recurring item now you'll notice wow I get level 40 chests best in best gear in game for free just by participating in this event yeah that's right but that's only something you'll notice at level 31 below level 31 you'll be getting level 30 gear which still is not bad but the reason why this is a super event is because it's 18,000 gold that you take home for winning first place. So super events are where you want to pump out your power gains. Now there's also a world event where you're competing with every single kingdom and whoever gains the most power will win Dark Lord material chest, which yes, Dark Lord is better than level 40 gear, even at level 30, but that's besides the fact. Now, with that, you'll mo you'll always see that solo events are, for the most part, coupled with the Inferno event. So if you participate in the Inferno event, you're more than likely going to finish the solo event as well. And it gives you slightly less enticing rewards, however, it rewards nonetheless. Um, so you want to keep an eye out on that, and you also want to keep an eye out on participating in the Alliance events. You want to win first place, because when you win first place, you get a Alliance gift box at the Immortal Grade. And when you do that, you're increasing your gift level. And let me tell you, you get a ton of gifts in this game. And the higher your gift level, the better your rewards. So these are some of the events, but let's take a look at, well, what's this in 55 seconds that we're going to be doing here? Well, this is Battle Royale. Battle Royale is one of those free-to-play events where everyone is at the same power level it's all about the strategy that you do and the rewards are not that bad at all so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the battle rewards well if you come in first place you get 10 war coins which are an extremely rare currency probably harder to obtain most definitely harder to obtain than gold as well as some seven day speed ups now yes if you don't do so well you don't get as good of rewards but you get rewards nonetheless and the more you kill the better the rewards you get special construction materials which are just going to be your war trumpets and um, other items such as those um, there's also alliance team deathmatch now these events happen every four hours if we take a look at our battlefield we can see this now we're going to go ahead and enter we're going to just do an enlistment request and yeah so we're we're into the battle royale you also have the arena now the arena is like stamina and it's just kind of like a monthly or it's it's a weekly tournament kind of deal within your own kingdom there's the story mode and dimensional but you could do that at any time and then there's town mode as well those aren't really events as much as the battle royale team deathmatch and those super inferno world inferno solo events and the alliance events are um anything else i should touch on my boy swag I think we're looking good here. Um, I think that the main things to really worry about here are on the hourly events, you're going to want to make sure that you're just going to comp And what that means is each of the events, once an hour, have an amount of points. That amount of points is to unlock each of the tiered rewards for that event. Now, based on Inferno or Solo, what type of event it is, and if it's a Super Inferno, which is essentially just a better version of the Inferno with also a higher point requirement, but basically different events require different amounts of points. 
every time you hit a tier of points, you will unlock all of the rewards for that tier. And your goal for these events is to get to the third tier, which is the final tier, of as many events as you can in as many hours as you can. Um, the rank in those rewards is not nearly as important as just making sure you're completing them. Uh, big spenders usually end up taking first place in a lot of the building events and research events. That's always going to be the case. They're just going to have more access to speedups. However, you can still be competitive as long as you're being frugal with your speedups and using them where they are the most effective. As you're saying that, I'm currently wasting all my speedups. But I think as far as that goes, we are good to go and ready to move on. Yep, so as you see here, we just completed Inferno Tier 3. So we were able to obtain all of the basic uh, rewards that you get from this event. I just want to do a quick research to be able to show you that. And we're also in Rank 1, so if we were able to hold Rank 1, well, we would also get all of these attack buffs. We would get that 18,000 gold, and we'll get a whole bunch of resources as well. However, the main thing that we want to take away is these uh, rewards just for hitting the power minimums are pretty darn good. So, thank you all for watching. This is Camp Cowboy signing off here with uh, King Swag, your free to play and pay to win guides to rule them all. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for another part in our mini series about Beginner's Guide to Iron Throne. Thank you all and enjoy the rest of your nights. Swag, no time for elevator music. I'm sorry. There will be no elevator music today. I will do, see you do, in the do. next video. Do, do, do.